Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we're going to be talking about some brand new statements made by some very, very high up Sony executives. And I've been trying my best to go kind of keep a little bit more of a positive twist out there because I know a lot of you guys out there are still trying to get your consoles, your GPUs, your PlayStations, whatever you guys are looking for. And I usually like to have more of a positive twist when it comes to these videos because, you know, I want you guys all to enjoy your games and have fun playing your games. But as of today, and there's just been so many news articles, so many statements, so much kind of news and this kind of somewhat breaking news when it comes to the PlayStation 5 restack stuff. And it actually is kind of bad news. And I always hate kind of sharing bad news because, like I said, I like the more positive side. But I figured I should go talk about this because it does kind of affect all of you guys out there trying to get your consoles and all of that. Now, while this is going to be some bad news overall, we, we it kind of tops and turns. Like sometimes we have good news, sometimes we have bad news, just how it is. But hopefully in the same time, we'll have a lot more consoles still kind of coming. They also are basically outselling the PS4. They're doing insanely well. So all bad things considered, it's just more so on just how big the demand is for the PS5. So as you guys watch, just don't get too discouraged. But I do want to kind of keep you guys up to date and up to news when it comes to all this news in general. So, uh, to kind of go and talk about this, as I mentioned, this is all from higher on up. So we have some articles we'll be showcasing and talking about. As well, if you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. We'll be ending our PS5 giveaway very soon. As well, we also do make sure you guys have the notifications on in general. All that good stuff. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc and digital. If you guys want to go check and see, we've been seeing lots of warehouses popping on up. The Twitter and Twitch stream, definitely go and follow up both of those for sure. And of course, the Weeble. Sign up for Weeble. Deposit $100. You guys go get free stock, free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any crypto currency you guys go and get free bitcoin those are always linked down below so actually down in the video itself and definitely smash that like button if you guys enjoy so i don't i like i don't even know how to even go enter into this video itself because it just makes me sad i just want you guys to go get all your stuff so i guess just just we'll rip off the band-aid just go into it basically sony is now expecting the ps5 supply issue to continue to next year the man demand appears to be higher than it was for the ps4 now off that statement alone, we kind of know that, like all of us kind of collectively know that it's been hard with the semiconductors, microchips, production, all the weird issues going on. We kind of get it. But as well, we also know that they've been trying their best and they've been selling millions upon millions upon millions of units. So it's a little bit on the sadder news because we did see some statements from Jim Ryan not too long ago, like two weeks ago, saying, hey, these future weeks are going to be better. Everything's going to be better. We're going to be making more consoles, sell more consoles, all that good stuff. So now, as I mentioned, we now have even more stuff from Hiroki Totoki. These all brand new information talking about all, well, how bad it's going to be. <laughs> so let's go dive on into it. Sony doesn't expect the PlayStation 5 supply situation to improve anytime soon. According to comments, its CFO reportedly made to analyst following the company's recent earnings report. And if you guys don't know, we actually covered up the earnings report and he was basically saying, hey, that's kind of where a lot of the news came out from. Sony wanted to make a different type of console and trying their best to meet demands and all that. So this is kind of like a follow-up statement because a lot of people are probably just trying to find more information. As we also have now, thanks windows and firewall protection, thanks. Roki Totoki said that it's actually difficult for Sony to keep up with demand for the PS5, according to Bloomberg, and that the situation is likely to continue into 2022. Now, we've actually heard a few different dates. We heard into July, we heard into August, and now it kind of seems like they're slowly keep on pushing it back into 2022. Now, to kind of remind you guys too as well, don't forget, they are making consoles. They're making record number of consoles. It's just more so so many people want them, so that's why it makes it a little bit harder. Uh, I don't think uh, the demand is calming down this year, and even if we secure a lot more devices and produce many more units of the PlayStation 5 next year, our supply wouldn't be able to catch up with demand. Toki reportedly said later adding we have sold more than 100 million units of the PlayStation 4 which is astronomical and considering our market share and reputation I can't imagine demand dropping easily so my kind of like a somewhat positive twist on that is I do want to keep on reminding people when people go and scalpers go get their consoles and they kind of basically make less money they're less likely to want to buy same with bots and also whenever other people get their consoles the demand also goes down because there's less competition so I would also go and say that realistically it actually will keep on going down in terms of like the demand itself because people get their consoles and they keep on making more consoles so that's kind of a bad statement overall to kind of go and see but also don't forget Sony also has to factor in like Japan China UK Canada and stuff and I think in America we've actually been getting kind of situated kind of in the groove like we're slowly seeing consoles in stores and all of that which is nice but it still is well not solving the 100% issue 
Sony is aiming to produce at least 15 million PS5 consoles in the fiscal financial year beginning April 2021 after having sold 7.8 million through March 31st. The company also sold the 14.8 million PS4 consoles in its first full fiscal year, but also didn't experience severe supply constraints for most of that period, suggesting initial demand for the PS5 is markedly higher. Which I would actually agree on that. You guys can leave your comments down below. I would almost 100% say that the PS5 is astronomically higher because we have the pandemic, people are bored, and don't forget as people kind of go and get into gaming or they more normalize gaming, you see YouTubers, you see streamers, etc. I think like the whole idea of being a gamer and like at least for me when I was in high school was a little bit more on like the slightly nerdier side like most people did a lot of people had like the Call of Duties and stuff but it was a little bit more on the nerdier side to go be like yo I love JRPGs and stuff like that I love playing League of Legends but nowadays I feel like everyone's a gamer everyone kind of understands that like hey like I'm bored all the time I want to be doing stuff on my phone doing stuff on my computer etc and it's also a lot more accessible to as well with better graphics and all that good stuff so I'd actually probably go and say without a doubt the initial demand is gonna be higher not even just just from the pandemic, but just more of like seven more years of normalizing gaming for everyone out there. Totoki's comments are less optimistic, which is once again what I'm not happy about to see. I like, I want to see optimism. I want them to be like, we are trying our best. We're going to get you guys out consoles ASAP. But I know with the constraints of the pandemic, it's a little bit harder. So basically, PlayStation Boss had previously suggested that the PS5 supply would actually get better every month throughout 2021. And so far, Jim Bryan's actually been kind of wrong with that. Like, I feel like this actual last month has been very, very dry in terms of drops. Now, granted, they also keep on mentioning that China and the UK and India are getting their restocks, and that does probably affect it a lot. But overall, I was kind of expecting, like, drop after drop after drop. Amazon dropping three times a week. GameStop dropped yesterday. Oh, okay, guess what? It's dropping again. So it kind of makes me sad that we haven't seen like that astronomical supply just rocket ship, you know? But basically they said, uh, they told Financial Times in February that the pace of the improvement in the supply chain will gather throughout the course of the year. So by the time we get to the second half of 2021, which is what we're pretty much getting to right now, you're going to be seeing really decent numbers indeed. It's possible that PS5 supply really will improve at some point, but ultimately what matters to Sony is that Totoki doesn't expect the company to be able to meet demand in the near term, even if production capability capacity increases. As Ryan himself noted, there are very few magic wands that can be waived. So I would want to hear your thoughts on this one, boys, because this is kind of like a, it's not bad. I, I, it is bad, <laughs> but in terms of overall, they're still making consoles. We'll still be seeing restocks. We'll still be seeing Amazon and GameStop, Best Buy, all those places restocking. And I do truly think after after China and the UK and India have their initial wave sorted, then it's a little bit easier for all of us to get our consoles. But it is kind of sad seeing some very high ups when it comes to Sony being like, hey, it's going to be hard. We're going to try our best. But truly, like, we actually might even lose out on sales from the PS4. And that, that's like kind of their deadline. They're trying their best to beat the PS4 sales. So hopefully they can kind of get in gear. Hopefully they keep on making as many consoles as they can. And hopefully we actually will see what Jim Ryan, the CEO of Sony, uh, well, PS5, actually went and said, and they actually have more consoles showing up for us because I want more consoles for you guys. I want more drops. I want more people actually getting their consoles so they don't have to sit on Twitter. They don't have to sit on YouTube. They don't have to like watch live streams 24-7 to actually go and get their consoles because it does get annoying. After a while, you just want to walk into a store and get it. But we are seeing things like Walmart and Target slowly getting walk-ins. We're seeing Myers and stuff slowly getting walk-ins. So at least we are seeing like that segue into people easily being able to get the consoles. We are seeing scalper prices going down. We're just seeing like a lot of stuff that's just overall good for the PlayStation and Xbox Series X and GPU markets. Because the more restocks we get, the more people get them and also less overall demand, which is all around good. But it is really hard to go in combat against that production issues. And that's why we also saw that they wanted to go make separate types of PlayStations as well. When it came to, you know, like the PS Pros or working towards different millimeter chips, nanometer chips to actually make the consoles a little bit better. So I don't know. I would like to hear your thoughts down below on this one, because especially it's just... I just want some really good news. I want like Jim Ryan to come out and be like, we have 5 million consoles in Puerto Rico. We're delivering them up tomorrow. Like, that's what I want to see. So hopefully we we'll actually get better news soon. But we do know they actually have been selling a lot. Like, don't forget, 8 million consoles is insanity. That's a lot of consoles, especially in comparison to previous years and other consoles. So it's not like all the doom and gloom everyone's making out to be. But like, we've seen all these articles pretty much everywhere mixed on in. Like, we're basically even IGN's like, hey... 
everything's going to be limited towards 2020. Bloomberg kind of sparking this up on up. I don't think demand is coming down this year. And if we used to cover a lot more devices and produce many more years of the PS5, our supply wouldn't be able to catch up with the demand. Like, we're just seeing so much sad stuff and all the shortages and everything. It just makes me sad to see. But hopefully... Uh, in the near future, all of us can get our consoles and will get our consoles. I'm going to try my best still to keep you guys up to date the best I can for all of you guys out there that still need them. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on or follow off the Twitter or be subscribed for our PS5 giveaway. Whatever you guys want to go and do, those are the Amazon links down below because we keep on seeing warehouses showing on up for the PlayStations. Check those on out. We also do, of course, always have the Twitch stream if you guys want to follow the Weeble. Sign up for Weeble, deposit $100, and you guys go get free stack, free money. Go and base you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency you guys go and get free bitcoin and i guess just give me your thoughts down below and hopefully we get all this stuff all sorted soon thank you guys all so much for watching i'll see you guys up in the next video all throughout today and well hopefully sony can uh, get us some more consoles soon